Although I would like to think that it's easy to solve the problem, it's, it will be easy to end the war. Um, every day people die in here. So I need to go to the army. I think I need to go to the army and still uh, playing in my band and talk and sing about the spirits of peace and spirits of uh, love between people all over the world. There are bad Jews and there are good Jews and there are bad Arabs and good Arabs because we are all uh, persons, we are all human beings. We are from the same race. And that's the message that I think that should be heard and reminded to people 24-7. I think that, that that is the real deal. I think that that is the, the most important thing that anyone can ever say. We have certain uh, political agenda of some sort, and we think that it's like an essential part of uh, what what punk is for us. And uh, but we don't expect everyone to think the same as us. But we try to. You know, just voice our opinion and talk about what we care about. If we're to take just, you know, political ideas, our political ideas, and completely throw them in people's faces, you know, we're not leaving any room for dialogue. The whole idea is, you know, we're talking about what we feel, and we've definitely got political ideas, but we don't want to, you know, we don't want to close ourselves in front of anybody. We want people to be able to listen to it and see that we're, no matter what our beliefs are politically, we are reasonable and we're open to dialogue and we're not trying to shove anything down their throats. And also we don't want to like play the Israel card, like poor us, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to be like that for people to feel sorry for us or something like that. We want to like sing about like what kind of stuff we go, to, go through and hopefully other people in South America or in America or in Europe that people will be able to relate to it, you know, in one way or another, you know. <laughs> our first show. Um, it's gonna kick asses, obviously. Yeah, it's gonna rock. I just hope we'll be just as good as the we said we are. Uh, we call the Kafal Apanim Shelimor Livnat, that basically means uh, slapping the face of Limor Livnat which is the current Minister of Education. The functioning of the Ministry of Education has been very poor lately, and um, our name protests against it. The slap, which we mentioned, um, was an occurrence that happened a few years ago when she, uh, when she physically slapped uh, a, a protester um, of an opposing uh, party. Once the nationwide press uh, took uh, notice of us, we began to, to receive phone calls from settlers and from all kinds of people who were pissed about us. Basically, there was uh, more to the name than, than there was a band. We are a young band, we just started playing. We had only six songs and we played about three shows before all this uh, noise uh, got to the press. And we weren't quite as prepared to defend ourselves and uh, expose ourselves to the public and show, show them who we are. And uh, we couldn't handle all this pressure, so um, we decided to end this uh, the final show, which was great. This article, which um, has my band's name as its title, was uh, in Mariv, which is the second most popular uh, newspaper in Israel. It speaks about um, our name and how controversial and unacceptable it is. And it uh, ends with um, the Mordivnats communication advisor saying, 
that you probably see us and um, we are just a bunch of punks so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Israel is not a punk place to live in. Because Israelis are really close-minded, they're really, really, really conservative people. So um, they can't really tolerate other, uh, I mean, the way other people are. There's a lot of primitivity, a lot of people who act really negative and, uh, and hate whatever they don't know or don't understand and what's new for them. We're like second kind of citizens, you know, like second type, you know, get arrested all the time. We went to jail because some guys, you know, like 20 guys hid on us, we fought them, police came, took us. He's from Russia, I love him. <laughs> you know, he, he went to jail because he doesn't want to cut his hair, well, doesn't want to get off his earrings. You know, he's not a fucking criminal, you know, it's fucking bullshit. That's yeah. why we sing about this shit, you know, about the army. He's been in jail, not in regular jail, he's been in a... It's Military jail. Agaf, you know, it's, Military it's a little room. You get a, a shower every three days. You get dirty clothes, you know, it's, it's... Disgusting, you know. You have nothing to do about it, you know, because what can you do against cops? Yeah. Like, you can only screw up your life in that one. All the kids from 18 to 21, in the middle of the week, they're not here. They're in the army. They're going out only on the weekends. It's crazy stuff. You can't conceive it in, uh, I think, you can't conceive it in the US because there are no people on the streets from 18 to, eight, uh, to tw uh, 21. You must don't join have a choice. The army. Don't have you must join choice. the army. It's the law. If you want not to go, go to, to the jail. army, you have to act crazy or something like that. Three months, three months from now, he has to go to the army. And he doesn't want to go, so he's going to sit, you know, to be in jail until they let him out. Like I said before, no matter what you do, this is your house, this is your land. This is where you eat, this is where you sleep, this is where you breathe, and this is where you die. No matter what, you have to contribute your own. As far as the scene goes with uh, the left uh, wing bands, is uh, most of them, are not older than 16 and we're all over 21 here when I was 18 and I went in the army and uh, I joined the army one of the last people in my class and by the time I joined the army I've already buried one friend and I've buried three more as the years went when I went in the army I was already right wing but this made my views even stronger because how many people have to die in order for, for our people and for the rest of the world to understand the problem? Because I, I wouldn't want all my friends to have died for nothing. You shouldn't let blood go to waste like that.